20% of people with developmental disabilities see friends and family less than twice a month. Sometimes people with a disability can't speak for themselves. When someone that's volunteering and just knows them as a person can speak for them, it's very powerful. It can bring about change. It can bring about inclusion. It can, it can find supports that weren't there before. People with disabilities are abused three to 10 times more often than people without disabilities. It takes somebody who cares to ask the questions that let you know what's really going on. East Suburban Citizen Advocacy does that. FISA Foundation presents East Suburban Citizen Advocacy. What we find in the families is that the stress actually paralyzes them. And without the support of an advocacy group like ours, they're really unable to get the help that they need. From food, to housing issues, to issues of isolation, uh, academic issues in the school. And those are certainly things that we've been trying to reduce through establishing our relationships. My favorite thing about looking at these pictures is just seeing the friendships that have been made. We met 20 years ago now. I think it was this time of year, huh, Donnie? Yeah. Remember I came up and met your mom, Jean? Jeannie. Yeah. And so we started doing things like just going out to dinner, then I'd bring them back home. And before long, um, we kind of figured out a way to just do things together, like whatever I was going to do that day. I'd say, hey, you know, bring Donnie over. We're going to cut the grass or ride the tractor. We have two girls, and so as they were growing up, when we first met, uh, they were six and seven. and. It's been a wonderful thing for them. I used to not go anywhere, but I do now with Karen. We do talk about things. I'm a better mom. When we go to school meetings, we help plan the strategies for the boys. With ESCA, that's one thing we do try to do with all of the friends we make. We try to uh, find their potential and to elevate them to that point where they're able to do their best in whatever they do. You help her and then she helps you by doing that. We have a tool that we use that we can see where maybe the gaps are in somebody else's life. When we put together a person-centered plan, we invite people in the community to the team that we think would be of benefit to the individual. Um, sometimes we ask um, the school community, sometimes we ask if the person's connected to a church and try to find people there. We find um, people that we know that we think have the skills or the assets that would benefit Janet or the, anybody that we're doing the plan for. When Janet first joined us, we, you know, we saw how many connections and she was pretty limited. When you bring people to the table, they generally become engaged and they care and they become part of the person's team. Through that, we've developed wonderful networks of support. She's friends with um, the YMCA, she volunteers, she helps at the food bank. I think that's one thing that uh, ESCA does. It really helps people develop and to be an active person in the community. We've helped people find jobs through person-centered planning. One young man is now in college. A family that we were serving, East Suburban partnered with a local church and went in and did a ton of repairs to their house and they painted. East Suburban is, it's just, it's just a vehicle for encouraging people to include people and bring them into their lives and enrich their lives. FISA Foundation is so proud of the work of East Suburban Citizen Advocacy in engaging people with intellectual and developmental disabilities in meaningful ways in the community. FISA Foundation awards grants to nonprofit organizations in southwestern Pennsylvania, celebrating 100 years of improving the lives of women, girls, and people with disabilities. For more information, go to www.fisafoundation.org.